Hi, my name is Andrea Martinez and today we're going to be learning about the clock. What is a clock? Well, a clock is something that tells us what time it is. There are two types of clocks. There is the analog clock and the digital clock. I'm going to show you the difference between those two clocks. The analog clock uses hands to describe what time it is. Not all analog clocks have numbers like this one. Some have lines and some don't have numbers or lines at all. They just have the hour hand and the minute hand. Next, we have the digital clock. The digital clock shows what time it is in numbers. For an example, if it was 2.03, well, it would show it in numbers on the digital clock without any hands, like the analog clock. And that is, that is why the analog clock and the digital clock are different. Next, we're going to be learning about the, how to read an analog clock. I hope you enjoy. The analog clock has 12 hours in 60 minutes. The hour hand goes around 12 hours for the day and 12 hours for the night. The minute hand goes around 60 minutes for one hour, for each hour. These are the hours. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And all these dots circling around the clock equals one minute. And that describes the 60 minutes and the 12 hours. An easier way to count the minutes in an analog clock is to count them by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 and 60 or 00. zero. Another easier way to read the minutes is to learn the quarters. There are four quarters in the analog clock. One, two, three, and four. 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and 45 minutes, and 60 minutes, or you could say o'clock. If it is 12 o'clock, both hands will be on the number 12. Then as time passes, both hands will start moving. The minute hand moves faster. The hour hand moves slower. As I said, both hands move. Even if the hour hand is not on the 12, it doesn't mean that it's on the 1 yet. 12 o'clock. I'll give you three examples of how to read an analog clock. First, what if the hour hand was pointing to the six and the minute hand was pointing to the three? When, what time would it be? It would be 6.15. Because if you see here, the hour hand is pointing to the six, and the minute hand is pointing to the three, but we know that the three doesn't actually mean three. It means 15. Next one, we have, what if the hour hand was pointing to eight, and the minute hand was pointing to four? It would be 8.20. What if the hour hand was pointing to 10 and the minute hand was pointing to 12? 
What time would it be? Well, it would be 10 o'clock. And that's how you read the analog clock. Subscribe if you like this video. Bye! Hi, my name is Andrea Martinez, and today we're going to be learning. <laughs> Another easier way to read the minutes is to learn. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.